Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to feature some of the tech modernization that's come to Splinterlands and that really impacts the mobile playing experience. I think these updates have been quietly sort of happening in the background. They haven't necessarily been celebrated by our community and, and nor have they been covered. And I think they're actually deeply meaningful from the player experience perspective and that might be important from the player adoption you know, basis or concern. And so I want to point to a few of the things by showing a couple of battles. Um, I, I think you can see immediately that it's greatly improved. If, you, if you've ever experienced Splinterlands on your mobile, it was never designed to be vertically viewed as we're seeing right now. It was always turn your, your phone sideways and then you need that sort of that more uh, traditional desktop type layout. Uh, everything from the play now big button to the DC window and the SPS windows being vertically designed. Is there room for some improvement that's still possible? Yeah, I think you can do away with the numbers. You see how it says there's the SPS image and then there's a 10 indicating I have 10,000 SPS and 24 indicating I have 24,000 DC. We don't need that number. Get rid of that. The image is enough. The icon would suffice. So there's room for improvement, but everything like from the drop down menu that I just showed, um, all the buttons are so much bigger. Everything's more visually appealing. You can look at your previous battles in a way that you never could before. Um, it's just functional and that's matters because players aren't going to want to engage with this game if they can't do so from their mobile because again most don't have desktops or laptops and so if we want to see a hundred daily signups turn into long-term sticky sort of player retention it's got to be through a, a successful mobile experience let's see what it looks like we click on battle and there's a lot to I guess point to or report um, I'm going to show you a few things maybe the first is that the recently played teams from my opponent, very easy to visually inspect. Now, if, admittedly, I need to know what those icons are. That's Loblowland, and you need to know what their abilities would be. You can't click on the image of that. Um, but uh, still, this is way improved from what it could be. Now, maybe if you if you could add one more drop down, like if I was able to click on the Marks Rat and see what he did, that might be another level up. But first things first, I can see the recently played teams. I see my mana cap, my rule sets are very clear. And when I click on the rule set, you get a description of it in case you're not clear about that. Let's go to create team. When I click on a, actually it's archery only, let's back out. I'm gonna X, see how easy it is to just click X and delete the Tarsa. I'm gonna find a, let's look at a tactic summoner. Cryptic, and we're going archery only. Oh, if, oh no, it's not archery only, it's just close range. So let's go, let's go boom. That doesn't really matter to me what I pick because I don't really care if I win. But look how easy it is to click teams and scroll down and the images are big. One more important thing I want to really show is if I look at this weirding warrior on the right hand side of the screen, I can click on his ability shatter and you're going to see that description pop up. It also adds that monster to my team, which is not maybe what I want to do, and but it's so easy to X him out. I just love that I can read Shatter clearly now. You didn't used to be able to do that. And if you want to, if you want to click on a specific mana, I need I have five mana left. Look how easy that is to narrow things down. Let's put that one in there, and then I, the, also the selectability. If you know what ability you're looking for, this is so clear and easy. Cripple. I didn't have anybody for that. Reset filters. Um, it's just so it's so clean it's so much more clean let's submit battle and I want to show you a little bit about how tactics submission work or how they're challenging so everything I just showed you is about how you submit your team now we're looking at how we view the battle and see how this has not really been updated yes I can scroll this way and, and, and see the fullness of the battle this is a place where I think there's room for improvement Second place of room for improvement here in the battle screen, look at how small the tactics buttons are. They can they can fix this, and I'm sure they will fix this, but, um, but I am, this is one of those, oh, boom, give me that one. That one, that one, okay, and battle. So everything from the little battle button, did I even submit it properly? The, the clicking the right ability, small. A, assigning to my team because I have to side scroll, annoying. And finally, the little battle button within the tactics window, challenging. So there's room for improvement on this battle side, 
but man, the on the team selection or team creation within the, you know, outside of tactics, far improved. And again, this matters from a player experience perspective, which matters from a player retention perspective, and even a new sign-up perspective. And so I think this is deeply important, and these have just been quietly happening in the background. And so I wanted to celebrate this. I wanted to kind of point to this as a, as a real victory that, not, as, that isn't necessarily being talked about very much. And, um, and so I think this is more enjoyable than it ever has been before. I think this will help us retain more of those 100 people that are signing up every single day. 100 new signups are coming to Splinterlands every day, and only like one of them are buying a spellbook. What if it was like 50 of those or, or 100 of those a day that was signing up and keep buying a spellbook and getting invested? That would be game changing. It really would be. It'd be the player radical player base growth, crazy new SPS purchase and card pricing in increase. That would be really amazing. It's not going to happen if we create barriers in front of them. The mobile experience has been a barrier, and now I feel like it's not. This is exciting. This is a big improvement. You and we, we pointed to we pointed to how easy it was to see the abilities in the battle in the drop down menu, how easy it was to search abilities, how easy it was to search on specific manas, um, uh, mana monsters, um, to remove or modify or, or uh, add summoners or, or 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 monsters to the team. It was so much quicker and easier with big icons, and and you could you could get more information by clicking on easily touchable um, abilities. For instance, man, so much better. I'm really enjoying it. I'm playing it with my mobile again for the first time in forever. I mean, it's been years since I've done this. And so if that if that's true for me, I wonder if it's true for you. I wonder if it's true for the new players that are coming on today. I certainly hope it is, and I think it's possible that, that this new gaming experience will help. It's got room for growth. We saw that in the battle menu. But if there's two pieces to, a, a, to this game, um, those two pieces would be team creation and battle viewing. And if, if I can only get one of them right today, of course I want the team creation to be correct. And it, although it's not 100% dialed in, it's so much better that it's actually functional and therefore it's enjoyable. And so I feel like that's a huge win that's been quietly happening in the background under this tech modernization umbrella that we have heard about, but we haven't necessarily seen maybe the fruits of or we haven't celebrated them anyways. This is an example of what the team's been doing. And this is a big improvement. I've enjoyed it. I, I wonder if you are too. Let me know in the comments below. That's it. Bye for now, guys.